Hello, friends and followers. Well, here's a demo of the controls on this FT757GX that I've been restoring to proper operation. I put this thing on eBay. Why? I don't know. I guess I'm kind of burned out on uh, fixing ham radios, but this one works pretty good. Once it's warmed up for 10 minutes, it doesn't drift, and it seems pretty darn good. So I've been powering this thing with this... Uh, bad kind of power system because I don't have a power cable for it and I'm not sure my power supply is working right that's a uh, Drake PS7 but this thing it, it will put out 100 watts on all bands except on 160 and on uh, on 10 meters okay so let's go through how the buttons work this will support Vox the MOX is a transmit button it'll transmit when you push this button that's the Vox button there we all know what Vox does power button and then we have uh, the meter can go between ALC and power output I just keep it well there's power output there this thing has a fantastic RF amp in it so out in So that makes a pretty good difference. It has an attenuator too. So you can take the RF amp off, attenuate. If you got something really strong going on, speech processor, noise blanker. And AGC fast and slow. So, uh, that's, uh, that's a story fast is fast. There's slow. So that works really good. Of course, we know what AF gain is. It's volume control in the RF gain. And that's about right. When you turn the RF gain all the way down, you want to see the S meter go to the peg or the pin. And all, most radios do that. All right, that covers all the controls on the left side. I haven't really fussed with these at all, but this will cover uh, amateur radio frequencies and any other frequency you want to listen to. And you have this 500 KC step button here, which you can push in and out. If you have it out, this will cover the ham bands. So you can simply go Amateur radio band, amateur radio band, amateur radio band, amateur radio band, amateur radio band. And it'll start back at 10 meters. But if you push this in, then it will step 500 KCs ad infinitum. So that's kind of a cool little feature. Now we're starting back in the AM radio band and you can just go all the way up. So that's pretty cool, in fact, you could start it at uh, five megahertz here, go to AM, and here WWV, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if it's there. Okay, well, I'm not hearing WWV there, but we can go um, up. There it is on 10, up to 15. There it is. Go to 20. A little bit. 25. Anyway, that's how that works. It's pretty cool. Um, not sure what PMS does. Might be memories. Haven't tried that yet. All this VFO stuff I haven't really messed with. It'll do split. Um, you can put in, I think, 10, 20 memories in this thing. So all this stuff involves the VFO and the memories and all that. Um, I tend to not use that stuff too much yet, but um, what I find really good about these older Gacy radios is this shift and width. So 
getting back to all that, if you want to do a power test on this thing, for output power, you want to go to CW because on sideband you have no power unless you talk. So uh, with that, then um, this is the drive knob. So pretty much no drive and up to 500 watts. So if we go to a ham band, say, take this out and go up to like, say, uh, there we go. Now we're on 40 meter CW portion. I can transmit here now. Um, if I take the drive up all the way, it'll go full power. And if I hit the MOX button here, it'll transmit. So let's see how it goes. And we can put this meter on power output. And it pretty much pins. So it'll put out about 100 watts. And sometimes it's a bit jumpy. I'm not sure if that's my cabling here or the radio has an issue or my power supply down there. I don't know. It is a little jumpy. I've taken the power amplifier apart to uh, debug it. Can't find any problem. So with this bad power connection here, maybe that's the issue. So that's how you run that. Um, of course, you can run sideband on it. And just talk and turn the mic gain up and it'll go. Of course, I can't talk in the CW portion. Let's go up here. Go up a little more where I could talk. Right about there. KB3W test, one, two, three, test, one, two, three, test. So sideband works quite well. And the other great control I like on this thing is this, this shift in width. So that's like a Yaesu exclusive thing, and it's really, really wonderful. So if you then tune somebody in here, actually go back here to 17 meters. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this is really great how this works. Width is the um, width of your band pass here. So there's no width. That's full width. And you can shift within the band pass. So you can really get these guys sounding good. So let's decrease the bandwidth. And you can hear how it is good for weak stations. So that's pretty good. This will receive AM also pretty well, so you can go to AM mode here. And there's lots of AM on CB mode, so you can go to CB band here, 27. There we go, and... Of course, who's to say these guys are clear, but... So anyway, yeah, it'll do AM and it'll do FM too. So you could try FM on 10 meters. It seems like the band is open on 10. So if we go into this uh, 500 mega, 500 KC step, 2964 is the reheater. So I'll go to FM mode here. See if we can hear anything. 
<laughs> Nothing. So not much going on in 10 meters. <coughs> this does receive well though, on 10 meters, really, really well. Let's see if anybody's on here. So it does CW pretty well, that's for sure. Let's do some FT8 stuff down here. 074. So lots of signal coming in, that's for sure, on 10 meters. Anyway, in 15, you can just skip down here to, uh, well, there we go. Not much going on there. So this thing has a great receiver. That's been the most impressive thing about it, at least with me. Three, four. Oh, 
I don't think I've heard this many people on 20 meters in forever. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, that's 20 meters. It's really active here on a Sunday. And this band here. I never use it. Not much going on here at all. And your course here is uh, 40 meters. Some guy talking about trains. Going from a different direction, because we're all east and west. Okay, well, that's AM people. Perhaps. Okay, that's my demo. This thing will also pick up AM radio, which is cool. So, you can run down here to AM band and. Uh, Skip on down there. There we go. I know I got a station at 1280. Yep, there it is. Look at that. Angela B2 will spend more than five years in prison. This after he was convicted and... Well, let's make a station in prison. What do you think of that? A senior Catholic church official. So, absolutely, that's... American... And there's some noise. Noise blanker. Not much on that. All right, that's my demo. Um, Pretty cool little radio. So I've been pretty happy with it. It needs a little more work, but I've put it out there in case people want to fiddle with it. The transmit can be a little wonky at times. Mostly works. Receive can be a little skippy sometimes in the morning, or actually in the morning when you first turn it on. The uh, transmit might vary a little bit, but then it calms down. So it needs a little more work. I, I put this on eBay just in case somebody wants it. Um, I, I've put a lot of work in this thing so far and not sure I want to keep messing with it, but it's it's usable the way it is. And I include this nice uh, aesthetic mic that I bought for this radio exclusively. It seems to have some pretty good audio. It's a uh, power mic as they say, but it is a beautiful looking mic and uh, seems built well too. So. That's my little video on the uh, Yaesu radio for sale on eBay. <clears throat> and I do like the heatsink here. It's uh, it's really, really strong as far as transmitting. You can fire this thing up. Well, I guess I can show you that. Let's see. So, if you go back to 40 meters, find a clear spot here. So AM people hang out right about here. Anyway, I could go to CW mode here and start transmitting. Transmit's now on. I was testing it at 60 watts continuous. There's 60 watts. And what you'll find is in a few minutes, the fan will come on, the heat sink will heat up. So the power amplifier is right about here. So you can feel the thing heating up and in a little while it'll kick on the fan. So the transmit is steady. I'm not sure why it gets jumpy. Probably my bad connector here, which is a real travesty. I really shouldn't be even using it like that. And I have no proper wires. I just have jumper wires. So maybe that's why it, the transmit's a little wonky sometimes, but uh, it's stable right there. Very stable. And 
Drake. I mean, antenna match, it's pretty good. And there goes the fan. So this thing is continuous duty. It's really cool. I guess the air comes out that way. But it's not too hot yet. Little fan comes on. Keeps it good. Seems like it's getting hot, right? Yeah, right about there to the finals are, I think, right about there. So you can you can feel it heating up there. Alright, and the power's holding. Should probably do that all day. Okay, well. Fan goes off. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.